I didn't realise that I had a mental illness in the beginning because I thought this is who I am and this is how it's always going to be and this for me is normal. I also have obsessive compulsive disorder, I used to have panic attacks, I couldn't read the Bible, I couldn't pray, which made me feel like I was a terrible Christian again, but I simply couldn't do those things and yet I blame myself for not being able to as a Christian. And unfortunately because that was so misunderstood by other people, I was told that that's why I was like I was because I wasn't doing those things. Because I'm a very visual person and I paint and I see things in picture form, that's how I get the most help for me. I mean, everyone's different, but for me, I think God knows I need, I need a picture. <laughs> I don't need words so much, I need a picture. My inspiration for painting something always, it's quite easy, it has to have an emotional tug on me. It has to have an impact that I think what I'm feeling from what I'm seeing, I want someone else to feel that too. So that's, that's the main reason. Or if it's a picture that I feel God has given me to, to have that um, uh, impact on others. I've had people say they've looked at some of my paintings and a shiver goes up their spine. I decided one time I would paint a picture of mental illness because it seemed to be a very difficult thing for people to understand and because you can't see it um, I thought well how can I show it visually to, to have some understanding so I painted what it was like for me going through mental illness. So the picture I painted, it was like all these things in my head, like these little wiry little figures playing havoc with, with all my thoughts and, and I couldn't control it and they're all doing things. And in front of this face, I've got the mask of what I present to people, which is, oh yeah, I'm okay, I'm doing fine, thank you. And behind it is this just torment, because that's what these figures in my head were doing. They were tormenting me. And, and rewinding old history again and again, playing it back and uh, then having the top of the head opened up and the hand, for me, it's the hand of God reaching in and plucking out these little um, interfering things and beside is the rubbish bin because that's where they belong, in the garbage. God is a creative God and, and we're created in his image so we, we're all creative because if we're made in his image and he's a creator God, we have to be creative. It's just that, you know, sometimes you need to, to discover it. Creativity isn't just painting or, or music or creativity is in everything. Um, you just don't have to be an artist to be creative, so yeah.